So we're rigged up. We're at the water. We're ready to go fishing with a dry fly. Here I am on the Missouri River, one of the most legendary dry fly fisheries in the US, without any shadow of a doubt. Love this fishery. A couple of tips about uh, before you just blunder in and start fishing is you've got a, a three-step approach to find fish. The first thing I recommend you do is wherever a bit of water you drive up to or walk in or get out at, just stand back and watch. Watch a couple of hundred yard section. Watch to the left and the middle. Watch to the right. Watch the slow water and the quick water. And you're just trying to find some rising fish. Dry fly fishing is much more effective if you find rising fish. And once you pinpoint a location of those rising fish, then you start to walk carefully along the bank until you're within striking distance of those fish. And then you wait, that's your second wait. Wait from the bank, watch them again, make sure your movement hasn't spooked them, make sure they are where you think they are. Have a look at the size of the fish, are they little fish, are they big fish? Once you're satisfied the fish are still there, now you take a wading approach to get into a casting distance. That obviously depends how far you cast, but the most important thing about wading is you wade so carefully at this stage. You wade, you don't want any ripples, and you most certainly want to listen as you wade, and you don't want to hear lots of splashing. You want to hear nothing. You want to wade so quietly, not pushing out any ripples, because fish will feel those ripples and push off. And once you get into that position that you've kind of got an idea, I'm within casting range of the fish, there's your third wait. You wait till they start rising again. And that just confirms that you know exactly where the fish is, and you've got your fish are still there, they haven't spooked, and gives you a rough idea of the size of them. So that's really how you approach the water. And once you're in that position, ready to cast to those fish, now you've got to identify the exact position those fish are in. And that is something we need to talk about.